good morning students so in the previous video we discussed about the half wave rectifier and uh, we also solved some of the problems on design of half wave rectifiers so in this uh, video we'll discuss about the precision full wave rectifier so in the previous we discussed about the precision half wave rectifiers and two output the precision rectifiers and other things here in this module we'll discuss about the precision full wave rectifier circuit okay so it's a combination of once again the precision half wave rectifier and the summing amplifier okay so it's a combination of precision half wave and summing amplifier so so this part is a precision half wave rectifier and this is a summing circuit okay so it's a combination of precision half wave and the summing circuit so uh, these are the equivalent circuit and uh, related waveforms of uh, precision of a uh, rectifiers so here in this uh, case so first one so during the positive half cycle of the input voltage so uh, the voltage terminal a is at the positive potential that means this is a uh, va and vb so this is at the positive terminal because what is we are applying input positive so the same will appears at this particular point also so at the terminal is also plus vi so during the positive half cycle okay and what uh, and uh, so at uh, b that means at vb it will be uh, negative vi minus 2 times vi why because so 2 into r r2 divided by r1 is 2 r1 divided by r1 r1 is gets cancelled okay so why it is 2 vi i will tell you here so it is a gain of the equation gain equation is r2 divided by r1 r2 is 2 times of the r1 divided by r1 into vi so 2 r1 r1 gets cancelled so v0 is equal to 2 times of the vi so v0 is 2 times the vi so this is your input voltage and output is minus 2 vi that means so negative 2 volts that is shown here similarly the thus the output voltage from the summing circuit so this what we discussed here it is it is the output voltage of your half wave rectifier circuit so now the output voltage of at the summing circuit is the thing but your full wave rectifier output so that is uh, you can say so summing amplifier output is once again summing amplifier is this one so this particular path is summing amplifier so summing amplifier is r6 divided by so this is this and this this is a feedback network input resistance so r6 divided by r4 so um, right not this so this one so r6 divided by r4 uh, right so r6 divided by r4 into va plus vb so va is this voltage vb is this voltage this addition summing amplifier is a sum of two signals it is adding so you know va and vb so uh, minus r6 divided by r4 va is equal to vi so from uh, this point whatever the input voltage you applied that is so vb is equal to minus 2 vi so minus 2 vi so neglect it so it is r6 divided by r4 is equal to vi minus 2 vi is it is minus vi so minus into minus plus so it is r4 divided by r6 into vi r4 divided by r6 into vi v0 is equal to if all the resistances values which were used is one so v0 is equal to vi so v0 is equal to vi so once again so during the negative half cycle so what happens so uh, so va is equal to minus vi because uh, what we applied is the negative voltage i'll to tell you here during the negative half cycle so input applied is negative so that is why so at the point va so that voltage will be minus vi at the point vb so you are applying okay what is that you are applying a negative voltage the output voltage will be positive okay uh, if it is a positive the output voltage is positive this diode is reverse biased because the your cathode is getting a positive polarity so the diode is reverse biased and it will open the so at this particular point the circuit will be open so the circuit is open at this particular point that is why the potential at this vb will becomes zero during the second half cycle of the signals so during second half cycle so the potential it will be zero so now so v naught is equal to the output voltage of the summing amplifier is once again so here summing amplifier it is r6 divided by r4 once again minus inverting summing it is so you have uh, r6 divided by r1 as it is minus r6 divided by r4 into 
VA plus VB, VA is minus VA, VB is 0. So that is why the total output voltage V0 is equal to VI. So that means, so during the positive half cycle also, you get the V0 output voltage is positive. During the negative half cycle also, just uh, you compare the expressions during the this is for the positive half cycle so during the positive half cycle also you will get the v0 is equal to vi that means v0 is equal to vi so during the negative this is negative half cycle during the negative half cycle also you will get v0 is equal to vi during negative half cycle so you will get v0 is equal to vi this is out for both positive and negative half cycle so the rectification is happening that is why it is called as a precision full wave rectifier okay the rectifiers which will rectifies the signals for both the cycles is called as a full wave rectifier so just take down the problem on the precision full wave rectifier so design a precision full wave rectifier circuit to produce a, a 2 volts peak output voltage from a sine wave input with a peak value of 0 0.5 volts and the frequency of 1 megahertz use the bipolar op amp with a supply voltage of plus or minus 15 is the given so just uh, refer to the problem here so so solution to this problem is uh, given here so as i said uh, let uh, assume the current flowing through the input current flowing through the circuit is 500 uh, microamps 50 microamps so smallest value of the current you choose it so r1 is equal to vi divided by r1 that means uh, vi is 0 0.5 volts divided by uh, 500 micro so r1 you will get so Similarly, R2 is equal to 2 times the R1. These are design steps similar to that of the half-wave rectifiers because uh, it is a half-wave rectifier and summing circuits. So, R2 is equal to 2 times R1. This is from circuit. So, 2 into R1 is 1K. It is 2 kilo ohm. So, similarly, R3 is so parallel of these two. So, R3 is R1 parallel to R2. If you calculate it, you will get 670 ohm. Uh, the standard value is 680 ohm. So, let us use all the values of R4, R5, R1, R5 is equal to R1 that is 1K standard ohm. So we know that V0 divided by VI is equal to R6 divided by R5 that is out at the summing circuit R6 divided by R5. So R6 is what? So R6 is equal to V0 by VI into 5. So V0 is given in the problem 2 volts, VI is given 0 0.5 volts okay and R5 is also decalc R5 is uh, calculated no it is standard value of assumed we have assumed substitute and calculate r6 so 4 kilo ohm you will get so standard is 3.9 kilo ohm so similarly r7 is parallel all this r4 r5 r6 are parallel and their equivalent resistance r7 so is this is what so you know r1 r4 r5 r6 just calculate the parallel value of this you will get the r7 so r7 is 443 is the value you will get so standard value is 470 ohm okay so this is how you have to solve the problems on the full wave rectifiers so in the previous uh, class we discussed about the half wave rectifiers and problems on half wave rectifiers in this class we'll discuss about the full wave rectifier and problems on full wave rectifiers so in the first the fourth module first bit is all about the rectifiers precision half wave and full wave rectifiers so in this uh, half uh, fourth module first half is uh, we discussed about what is rectifier what is the difference between the conventional rectifier and precision rectifier how the working principle of a precision half wave rectifier will take place and how the working principle of full wave rectifier and we deduce the expressions for the both the type of the rectifiers we also discussed about the two output precision rectifier okay so this is all we discussed in the fourth module first bit so fourth module second bit is uh, digital to analog a to d and d to a converters so be, uh, be about that we'll discuss in the next video right thank you